dwelling you richly and all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in the word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. giving thanks to God the Father through him. Mm -hmm. May the Lord have blessed to the hear, reader and hearer of the word. I, Amen. I Amen. came from Colossians 3, uh, New King James Version. Amen. 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 Father God in heaven, we come this morning, Lord, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Come in, Lord, asking you to forgive us of our sins and our transgressions and all of those things that we've done that was not pleasing in your sight. Mm -hmm. And Lord, as we come before your throne of grace this morning, Lord, we come with a spirit of thanksgiving. Yes. Thanking you, Lord, for allowing us this opportunity. Yes, Thank you, Lord, for working on our hearts and minds, Lord, and giving us yes. a desire, Lord, to want to serve you, God. And Lord, we come this morning with a desire to be a better person, to be a better Christian, Lord, right. to be a better laborer in your vineyard, Lord. We come this morning with a desire to work, Lord, yes. and a desire, Lord, to draw others unto yes. you, God. Yes. Yes. Help us to be that example, God. Show us how to walk and yes. the right way to walk, Lord, yes. and what to do, Lord. Yes. We have some desires and, and, and things before us, God, but we're seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit right yes. now, God. Yes. Please don't let us move to the left or the right, God, if it's not your will, God. We asking right now that you order our steps, God. Amen. And then right now, Lord, we are inviting the Holy Spirit to just rain down on us in this service this morning, God. As we come lifting holy hands, God. As we come magnifying your name, God. As we come acknowledging, God, that you are our Lord and Savior, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, God. We come hearing uh, anxiously waiting to hear from you on today, God. Yes. Open our ears that we may hear from you, God. Yes. And then our hearts that we may receive your word, God. Amen. And these things we ask right now in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Amen. Come and go with me. Amen. Y'all doing all right this morning? Yes. Amen. That's good. It's a blessing to be back in the house of the Lord yes, one more time. I know that much. Yes. Amen. Another day. Amen. Yes. Beautiful day, too. Yes, Lord. Yes, right, Lord. right. And I heard Deacon uh, Eric talking about the, the the news. If you watch the news, if you've been watching the news, you'll know that we are living in the blessed uh, area right now. Ain't that right? Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. God has really been blessing us. Yes. Yes, he has. Amen. I mean, we've seen these storms and stuff go over our houses and our homes and our businesses. Amen. And it just goes over. Amen. By the grace of God. Those same clouds have done damage somewhere else and going to do damage somewhere. You know, it's just been tough. Amen. It's been tough in other places. Amen. We have been in a good place. Yes. Oh, yes. So we are able to help others, amen, yes. who are in distress right now. Yes. Amen. Yes. We're not just here just to be here. Oh, no, amen. But we're here to be used by God, amen, yes. as instruments yes. to help those who are in need right now. Yes, I mean, it's, it's been something going on from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast. Yes. Yes. Amen. So we just... We've been blessed, church. We have been truly blessed. Yes, amen. So we have a reason, amen, to come in and thank God and praise God and right. give him all the glory amen. and not be ashamed. Ain't that right? Yes. Amen. amen. Because God is so good and so kind yes, to us. He is. Yes, he amen. Is. Amen. Y'all bring your Bibles with you today? Yes, sir. So Y'all are relying on the screen. <laughs> have we got? Have, have we got? Have we got spoiled yet? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh yes, man, sir. we got spoiled. Yeah, we got spoiled. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, we still want y'all to bring y'all Bibles. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. We never know when 
technology, amen, gonna shut down on us. Amen. That's why we got those printed uh, pages, amen, that we can bring with us and take with us uh, all the time. That's right, Pastor. So let's, let's, let's keep bringing our paper, paper by onion skins, amen? <laughs> How about that? Yes. All right, all right. God is good, church. And he has given us some word today. Wow. He's going to give us something today, and he wants us to really give him our undivided attention. Amen? Yes. Give him our undivided attention because he's talking directly to me. Directly to you. Amen? Y'all understand what's going on? Yes, Amen. God is finna talk. Amen. So when God talk, everybody needs to be listening. All right? Amen. 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 So if you have your Bibles, we're going to ask you what you would to go with us to 2 Corinthians today. Yes, chapter 10. And I'll be reading uh, verse 12 in your hearing this morning. Okay. We'll start with verse 12. Amen. We'll read from the King James Version on that one. Amen. Right. Yes, sir. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 12. And this is what it reads. It says, for his letters, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start at 10. <laughs> Verse 12 says, for we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measure themselves by themselves Come on, and comparing themselves among themselves mm -hmm. are not wise. Come on, Pastor. Y'all see that? Yes, sir. Yes. We're going to talk to you just for a little while about measuring correctly. Amen. Amen. Measuring correctly. Amen. And I'm going to read that one more time. It says, for we dare not make ourselves of the number. All right. Or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measure themselves by themselves. Mm -hmm. And comparing themselves among themselves mm -hmm. are not wise. All right. All right. There's a saying and there's scripture that backs it up. That there's nothing new under the sun. Y'all ever heard that before? Mm -hmm. There's nothing new under the sun. And this is often quoted from Ecclesiastes, amen, uh, chapter 1, verse 9, where it says, The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. That being said, church, right now because... The same issues that they had in the church of old, the same issues that they had in the Corinthian church are some of the same issues and problems that we are witnessing today in our churches, amen, in our church, all right? But at a larger scale now, amen? It's a much larger scale now, uh, more people, amen, uh, more technology, and we're going to talk a little bit about that, amen, but there's nothing new, really. Still have some issues in the church. Had some issues in the church when Paul was coming along. Mm -hmm. Amen, in the Corinthian church. And that's where these scriptures are coming from today. And the issue that was at hand, the problem that was at hand in Corinth, amen, the problem that's at hand here at Mount Moriah, you ain't got to look far. Yeah. Amen. You know, a lot of times we try to look at other churches. Right. Then we go comparing ourselves with some other church. Amen. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> but we need to look at ourselves. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. The issue at hand right now is that our measuring is not measuring up. Mm. Amen. All right. Our measuring is not measuring up. And that is according to God's way of measure. Yes. 
Amen? Amen. And what you talking about? What God is talking about? God wants us to begin to measure ourselves correctly. All right? And that's where uh, this 12th verse, amen, of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 come in at. Let me say this, that it's, it's normal, amen, it's normal that we uh, seek approval for our actions. Amen. We're always seeking some type of approval, amen, from somebody, somewhere, amen, that, of our action, whatever it may be, amen. Even at times when we know full well, amen, that we've gone against the ways of God. Amen. Gone against our home training. We still look for some type of approval from, from somebody. Right. Amen. Right. Even sometimes we have to convince ourselves that you was, I was right. Yeah. Amen. But we know that we are wrong. Amen. But we want some kind of approval from right. somebody. And you can, you can hear and see this almost all day, every day. Amen. Some of us ain't got to look far. Amen. When I say it, don't have to look far. I'm talking about no farther than right here. <laughs> Amen. But somebody wants to be approved at some kind of level all the time for their ways of thinking, their way of, uh, of looking, everything, amen, way of uh, talking. They want approval. When somebody does something that's not right, they immediately seek somebody to agree with it. They, they right away trying to find somebody, you know, they'll tell them their side of the story. Amen. But they won't tell them the other side of the story. You understand? They just want you to agree with them. Uh, you know, uh, we just want somebody to agree with us. You understand what we're saying? We want somebody to uh, to just follow us. We're going to social media now. All right. This is one reason why social media is so popular today. Amen. Because people are seeking approval, amen, for everything. For all of their actions, amen. They get on there and put eyelashes on, amen, and, 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 and put lipstick on and, 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 and show you why they're doing it. That's right. <laughs> Showing you the way that they do it, amen. That's right. The looks, mm -hmm. the desires, mm -hmm. the ideas, amen. It don't matter whatever it is that we want somebody's approval for, we can go to social media today and do that. That's right. That's you right. understand? That's right. Mm -hmm. And you know what? In almost every occasion, you're going to find you a group of people. You're going to find you That's one right. or two. That's right. I don't care what That's you've right. done. I don't right. care how you've done it. Amen? That's right. I don't care if, it, if it's the worst of worst. Somebody is going to agree with you. Someone is going to agree with you. Amen. You're going to have somebody following you. Amen. Yeah. Social media is a big thing. Amen. And what's happening here in the church today is that we are measuring ourselves. Amen. Through social media. We are measuring ourselves amongst ourselves. You understand what I'm going? This is what God is talking here today. Amen. Just as the Corinthian church was measuring and comparing themselves with each other, amen, and seeking each other's approval. That's right. We're doing it today. That's right. But like I said, just as at a larger scale, okay? That's right. At least way back then, amen. If, Way back in the Corinthian days, amen, back at, back there, if a person couldn't get somebody to approve, they would have to walk, they, you know, they, they would just go walking distance, as far as they can go, you know what I'm saying? They didn't have time, amen, even if, even if they had to go a while, a ways away, they had time to think about it. God had, they had time to partner on what they were trying to get somebody's approval for. See, we don't have that today. We ain't got to wait no time. Oh, yeah. We can't get nobody approved here in Mississippi. We can go to China right quick. Somebody in China, amen, would agree with you by the click of a button. You understand? Too much social media is going on in the church. 
We're spending too much time, amen, on social media today, amen. Yes. We're spending too much time trying to get approval from other folks. Yes. I love that. Y'all got that? Yes. Yes. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's just the truth, amen. Too much time. Like I said, at least back then they had time to think about it on their way over to Aunt Sue's house, amen, or, 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 or Betty's house, amen. They had time to think about it and probably would turn around and say, oh, that ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? But now we click a button and we can have 10,000 followers, amen, 20,000 likes, amen, boosting us up to go even further, amen, and a lot of times further away from God. All right? That's right. Father away from God. That's right, Pastor. Nowadays, amen, you can get almost anybody to agree with you on anything. That's right. That's right, Pastor. Come yeah. On, Pastor. That's what that's what happened when we started measuring ourselves and comparing ourselves, amen, with one another. And let and not letting God measure us up. And not trying to uh, you know, we we just won't we don't want God's approval. We want man's approval. Amen. We want people approval. We don't want Jesus' approval. We want people's approval. Amen. And that's what's going on today. We're not measuring up to God's standards. We're not measuring up to God's standards. And as children growing up, you know, we... We long for the affirmation of our parents. You know, we wanted to hear that's that's a good that's a good boy. You know, that's that's good. You did so good. You know, you did so well. Then, as we continue to grow up, we continue to grow up. We begin to value the opinion of our peers, our friends, amen, and 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 our employers. We try to uh, appease them or make the, uh, get their approval, amen, for our actions and things that we do. Our colleagues. Y'all agree with that? That's right. Amen. Yes. And what eventually happened is that when we continue to seek approval of others, gradually, if we're not being careful, we forget about who we really need approval from. That's right. That's right. You understand? Yes, sir. We get in deep. We get in deep and getting approval from other people, other folk, amen? God is the one that we need to be getting approval from. God Almighty, our maker, our creator is the one we need to get approval from, church. Our attitudes, we begin to measure ourselves, our accomplishments, our attitudes, our wealth, knowledge, and everything else amongst each other. Comparing one another, what 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 they got or want what they have, don't know how they got it. Amen. Amen. Don't know what they had to get to or get through to get it. But I want it because I'm comparing myself to them. Amen. Amen. Or them, or those, or him, or you know whatever. Right. Going about life all wrong, seeking the approval of people rather than God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Paul said that he wasn't seeking the approval of other people. That's right. And that's what I like about Paul. He, at one time he did now. Paul wasn't always where he was in the end. Amen? So it's not too late, church. It's not too late. You know, some of Paul's critics thought that their criticism and their opinion would determine what and how he did some things. Mm -hmm. You know, we, should, we shouldn't be swayed by what other folk think when we're doing what's right according to God. Right. Amen. 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 We shouldn't be swayed to the left or the right. We should be standing firm. Amen. Just like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Come on, That's how we should stand on God's word. Stand on God's way. Stand on his will for our lives. Amen. Amen. That's what we should be doing. They would often praise and commend themselves, amen, for their actions and deeds. That's what some of the Corinthians were doing. They would praise themselves for what they was doing. Mm -hmm. 
They would seek approval of others, and they was receiving some of it too. <laughs> they were receiving some of that uh, approval that they was looking for. But uh, I like where Jesus warned, amen. Jesus warned those who sought approval from others over in Matthew chapter 6. Y'all go, go with me over there. Matthew chapter 6. Y'all let me know when y'all get it. Matthew chapter 6. I'm going to start at verse 1. Jesus warned those who sought approval from others. In the NLT version, he says, watch out. It's red in my book. Watch out. Don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others. Y'all see that? How many people, or how many times, amen, have you been on social media? Publicly. That's, that's public, right? right. Trying to be admired for others, amen, for things that you've done. He said, watch out. Don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others. For you will lose the reward from your Father in heaven. Verse 2 goes on. When you give to someone in need, don't do as the hypocrites do, blowing trumpets in the synagogues and the streets to call attention to their acts of charity. Y'all see that in your book? Yes, sir. Don't get all on Facebook and all on these uh, other social media sites, amen, telling people what you've done to help this poor family down the road. Amen? I've seen that a lot of times here lately. A lot of times these stories make news headlines nowadays. Amen. I mean, good, good. It's a good thing you help somebody, but why you have to put everything on social media? Come on, man. I'm ready. Running with my phone. It's right now. Amen. Somebody, somebody <laughs> needs to get out the car. Burn up the car. I'm helping you. <laughs> you may need to put that phone down. Amen. <laughs> Facebook Live. Yeah. Amen. It, it'll probably be a lot faster if you put that phone down and use both of your hands. Maybe it won't burn all the way up. Amen? We need to watch out, church. A lot of these people I'm talking about are church folk. Some of them are our folk. Amen? Watch out. The word verse 1 said, Say, watch out. Don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others, for you will lose a reward from your Father in heaven. Yeah. It goes on, verse 2, it says, when you give to someone in need, don't do as the hypocrites. On, Blowing trumpets in the synagogues and the streets to call attention to their acts of charity. Yeah. I tell you the truth. This Jesus they have received all the reward they will ever get. Verse 3 goes on, but when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. In other words, don't be telling everybody, amen. That's what he said. Don't let your right hand know what your left hand do, amen. You ain't got to tell everybody. Verse 4 says, give your gifts in private. Yeah. Yeah. Give your gifts in private. Yeah. And your Father who sees everything yeah. will reward you. Yeah. 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 It even talk about prayer. Amen. Verse 5, it says, when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on the street corners right. and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. Right. Come on, I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. That's what Jesus says about this. Amen? Amen? So we need to watch out, church. It's really not hard to get somebody's approval for anything. Paul knew that, too. But he also knew that earning God's 
approval was a better accomplishment. It'll get them further on down the road. Amen. Let's go to 2 Timothy. We're going to be done in a few minutes. 2 Timothy, chapter 2. I think I'm going to start at verse 3 on this one. Yeah, Paul knew that earning God's approval was a better accomplishment than earning the approval of man. Amen? Because it says over there in 2 Timothy, <laughs> chapter 2, verse 3, it says, you got that? It says, endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life. Y'all see that? Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life, for then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. Who, who are you talking about here? He talking about the children of God, amen? He said we get tied up into all of this other stuff that's going on around us. Trying to please men instead of God. Amen. He says that soldiers don't get tired of with the affairs of civilian life. Uh, when Then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. That'll be God. You can't please God. Amen. And man at the same time. Look at verse 5. It says, and athletes cannot win the prize unless they follow the rules. <laughs> God is good, ain't it, church? Amen. Paul realized that self-approval isn't hard to attain. It ain't hard. Because Paul himself once had been pleased with his own life. Amen. He was satisfied with what he was doing. Compared himself with himself. We do that a lot, ain't that right? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We say that all day. Amen. We ain't good. Amen. We ain't good. Paul thought he was all right. Comparing himself with himself. Thinking he, with his chest poked out, amen, uh, call himself being a God man. Slaying folks. Had, it, had blood all over his hand, amen. Paul himself, he realized that. His own life, amen, was not satisfying God. God finally showed him, amen, what life was really all about. God showed him, amen, how he was going about his life was all wrong. Follow me to Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3. <clears throat> Y'all got it? Go to verse 3. Philippians 3, verse 3. This is where Paul says, he says, For we who worship by the Spirit of God are the ones who are truly circumcised. We rely on what Christ Jesus has done for us. We put no confidence in human effort. You see that? Amen. Though I could have confidence in my own effort, if anyone could. Paul said, I can, if anybody can do it, I can do it. I can have confidence in my own effort. But he says, indeed, if others have reason for confidence in their own efforts, I have even more. <laughs> but he goes on to say, I was circumcised when I was eight days old. This is how Paul felt like he was more, uh, you know, he was on top of the world. Because he was physically circumcised when he was eight days old. He says, I'm a pure-blooded citizen of Israel and a member of the tribe of Benjamin. Oh, uh, yeah, he's building it up, ain't he? He said, I'm a real Hebrew. If there ever uh, was one. I was a member of the Pharisees. He, he he building his cloud up now, amen. He's adopted all this. Right, right. Who demand the strictest obedience to the Jewish law. He says, I was so zealous that I harshly persecuted the church. I obeyed the law without fault. 
Oh, yeah, he was crossing all his T's and dotting all his I's. I once thought these things were valuable. You see that? God finna show him how to measure himself now. He said, I once thought these things were valuable, but now I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. All right now. All right. Yes, everything else is worthless. Look at what he compared himself to now. He says, yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Everything else is worthless, church, when we compare our life with Jesus. Amen. Amen. He said, for his sake, I have discarded everything else, counted it all as garbage, so that I can gain Christ. Look at that. This man has made a life change, a lifestyle change. Amen. Because he wanted to become closer to Christ. He said, I no longer count on my own righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I become righteous through faith in Christ. Y'all see it in your book? He says, I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. So that one way or another, I will experience the resurrection from the dead. That's a man with a heart for God now. Amen. He's not comparing himself with himself no more. Amen. He's comparing himself with Christ, with Jesus. Amen. With what he died on the cross for him. That's what we need to measure ourselves against, church. See, when we measure ourselves against each other mm -hmm. oh, or one another, right. we might not be measuring right it's at right. all. We're not measuring right at all. Amen. Yeah. Even every now and then, amen, a carpenter, they can use the same template for, for so long, and after a while, they got to throw it away amen. because they use it so many times. Amen. 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 Y'all understand that? Yes. We got some templates we use it on my job, amen, for uh, white ceiling tiles. After, after, after a little while, they start getting dingy. Mm. They don't be white no more because we touched them and did all kind of things. So they're not as pure as they was at first. All right. And what would happen is if you keep using the same one, you're going to start sending out bad product. Yes. Oh, yes. So every now and then, we have to change those things out. That's right. Come on, Pastor. Every now and then, amen, we need to check ourselves against the word. All right. All right. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all right to have role models, amen, and people that you look up to. But we really need to be looking up to, to Christ Jesus. Amen. We really need to be doing some reading ourselves. Amen. That's really what we need. He needs to be our true role model, amen. Paul wants. God to measure him up. Amen. He didn't want man to measure him up. He wanted God to measure him up. And we should want God to measure us correctly also. Let's go to Jeremiah. We're going to let you go home in a minute. But Jeremiah, y'all know the weeping prophet, right? Yes, sir. Jeremiah 9, 9th chapter. Jeremiah 9th chapter. Go down to the verse 23. Yeah, that's amen. 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 Jeremiah 9 and 23. You got it. There you go. All right. And this is what the Lord says. Y'all see that? <laughs> this is what the Lord says. Don't let the wise boast in their wisdom. Amen. Don't let the wise boast in their wisdom. All right now. Or the powerful boast in their power. Well. Or the rich boast in their riches. Mm. Y'all see that? Come on now. And it goes on to say, but those who wish to boast should boast in this alone, mm. that they truly know me and understand that I am the Lord. 
who demonstrates unfailing love, and who brings justice and righteousness to earth, and that I delight in these things. I, the Lord, have spoken. You see that? I'm going to go on a little bit further. Amen. Mm -hmm. We need to be giving God the glory. Yes. Instead of giving me in glory. Amen. Right. Instead of giving ourselves the glory. Because verse 25 says, A time is coming, mm -hmm. says the Lord, when I will punish all those who are circumcised in body, but not in spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start right there. He said, I'm going to... All of those, I'm going to punish all of those who are circumcised in body, but not in spirit. Wow. Okay. See, Paul realized that wow. when he was talking about he was circumcised in eight, eight, eight days old, he's a <laughs> true Israelite, a Jew, or whatever. I'm, I'm full-blooded, I'm this and that. Right. But if you ain't got the spirit of the Lord running in your veins, Amen. you ain't got the real blood. Amen. Amen. Jesus died on that cross for all of us. Amen? Amen. So that we may be saved. That's right, Pastor. He came down here, amen, so that he can live amongst us. And so that we can follow in his footsteps. Not in man's footsteps, but in Christ's footsteps. Amen. He died on that cross for all of us to save us. Uh, a sin sick world. Yeah. That's why he did that. Amen. Amen. So if we're going to measure ourselves some, against somebody. Let us measure ourselves against God, against Christ. Amen. 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 That's the only correct way to measure ourselves. Amen. Let's not continue to measure ourselves or let the world, trying to get the world's approval on all our affairs. But let God do that for us. Amen. amen. Don't, don't be blowing trumpets. Amen. Letting everybody know what how good you've been to somebody or some groups of people. Amen. Let God do that for you. Amen. You just keep doing the work. You just keep being used as an instrument. Amen. amen. To continue to upbuild the kingdom of the Lord. The door of the church is open. Amen. Measuring correctly. Only God can measure correctly. Amen. Only God. Thank you, Lord. A time is coming, says the Lord, when I will punish all those who are circumcised in body, but not in spirit. That's right. Today is a good day to give your life to Christ. Amen. Today is a good day to give your life to the Lord. Right. Amen. 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 We all need this church. Going back to 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, the 12th verse, it says, For we dare not make ourselves of the number yes. or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. Yes. But they are measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. Amen. It's not a wise thing to do, church. For us to compare ourselves and measure ourselves against ourselves. Amen. 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 Amen.